Yo, yo, what's up? This is Monkey Biz TV. Thumbs up, like, share this video. Uh, just including the HBF run. Check it out. And it was a record turnout for the HBF run for a reason. 31,000 West Australians brought the city to a standstill. And for one lucky Perth woman, there was even a proposal waiting for her at the finish line. A tidal wave of teal takes over Perth. 31,000 runners all up. That's more than the population of Kalgoorlie. 31,000 different reasons for taking part in HBF's annual event. Well, this is my girlfriend, Leanna Risto. She passed away from cancer in March this year. She left her three small kids and her husband. Today we're running for my dad. Uh, Team Marty, we're running against drink driving. This year we dug deep. $1.25 million was raised for charity. Raised over thirty thousand dollars, and it costs thirty thousand to sponsor a guide dog. So we've um, effectively paid for one guide dog. Using the power of social media, Jasmine Corrick raised forty thousand dollars in just six days. So my brother had a skiing accident three weeks ago, and he sustained a spinal cord injury, and he's paralysed from the chest down. Some runners proved you didn't need fancy gear to make the distance. Mark C took out the four kilometre run for the fifth time. Maybe time to actually man up to the 12k. While 17 year old Savannah was the quickest for the women, but at 95, Peter Kennedy proved it's not all about pace, endurance is the key. Take it easy, I can do it. I don't try today. This is the bulk of the runners coming through now, finishing off the half marathon or the 12 kilometre run. Donna Vaughan was an ambassador, the Burns victim, overwhelmed by all the support. I'm going to do it every year. I actually loved it. This it's nice going to be such a big turnout. Little... And in an event first, a proposal at the end of a 12 kilometre slog. Yes! I love you! It's only taken five years. <laughs> Jordan Cuts, 7 News.